Hello there. I'm going to show you how to use DocHub to open a PDF and then submit it for into Google Classroom. So if I open a PDF here from Google Classroom from an assignment, I, if the option here does not say to open in DocHub, then you might have to click on the three dots. Click on open in new window. And once this opens, you should be able to start writing inside your PDF. <clears throat> Sorry, actually before that, you're going to have to open it in another window. And then this is where it should say open with, we're going to choose Doc Hub. Give it a moment to open up. And loading document. The suspense is killing me here. <clears throat> All right, so you have your name. And I'm going to say I'm going to use this existing. Hopefully that doesn't pop up. But I'm going to go here and click on name. And I can type in my name. I can type in the date. I can type in the class. So if I go down here to Hamilton, I can type in Hamilton. Or I should probably say like period two. Now, once I go through and fill out the rest of the answers, what I need to do is I need to click on the download or export button. So I click on that, and you don't have to change anything in here. You can just click on download. Disregard my dumb barking dogs in the back. So now you have downloaded it. It should be here in the bottom of your Chrome browser. Don't do anything with that yet. We're going to go to our classroom assignment and when I click on turn in I am going to actually give or sorry actually I'm going to click on add my file so I'm going to click on file I can drag this right up in here click upload and once it's done uploading I can click on turn in you cannot go up and just take the URL and copy that and paste it and try to turn that in. If you do that, then your teacher is not going to be able to view it. So make sure that you go through the steps to get into DocHub. Once you're done, click on Export. And then you go back to your Google Classroom. You are going to add it. It's going to be a file. And just drag and drop from the bottom of your Chrome browser. And then you should be able to turn it in after that. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to Mr. Klein or Mrs. Hamilton. We'll be happy to help you out.